Welcome to the Automobile Brief. The content of the briefing includes Man arrested following knife point carjacking. China's BYD launches plug in hybrid to challenge mainstream petrol cars. Chinese EV maker halts production for six months as cutthroat market bites. Body camera captures dramatic rescue of infant by deputy at scene of car crash in Florida. No streaking or smearing, this $13 tool makes cleaning your windshield a breeze and it's over 40% off. Man arrested following knife point carjacking. BBC. A man from Birmingham has been arrested after stealing a car at knife point in Stafford. The stolen vehicle was later found abandoned at Hopwood Services in Alvechurch. The car had collided with another vehicle, but no one was injured in the crash. The 44-year-old suspect was arrested on suspicion of robbery, failing to stop, and dangerous driving. Staffordshire police stated that they have been working to make the area a hostile place for thieves and have made over 120 arrests and charged over 50 individuals since launching a crackdown in 2022. China's BYD launches plug-in hybrid to challenge mainstream petrol cars. South China Morning Post. Chinese automaker BYD has launched a new version of its plug-in hybrid model, the Qin Plus DMI, pricing it lower than best-selling petrol-powered cars such as Volkswagen's La Vida and Toyota's Corolla. The company aims to accelerate customers' conversion from fossil fuel-powered vehicles to EVs amid a slowing economy. The new version, known as the Glory Edition, starts at 79,800 Chinese yuan, $11,086, lower than the previous edition by 20,000 yuan or 20%. It is 15% cheaper than the entry-level La Vida and nearly 40% less than the basic Corolla. Chinese EV maker halts production for six months as cutthroat market bites. South China Morning Post. Chinese luxury electric vehicle maker Human Horizons has halted production of its vehicles due to a capital crunch. The company, which produces the Hi-Fi brand of EVs, informed its employees of the six-month suspension on January 30. The decision comes amid a slowdown in the Chinese EV market, which has hit smaller players particularly hard. Human Horizons has not commented on whether the production halt will affect its planned 5.6 billion US dollar joint venture with Saudi Arabia's investment ministry which has yet to begin operations. Body camera captures dramatic rescue of infant by deputy at scene of car crash in Florida. The Toronto Star. A Florida deputy is being hailed as a hero after he saved a three-month-old's life when he stopped breathing following a car crash. Deputy Sergeant Dave Musgrove's heroics the night of February 8 were captured on body camera footage. Musgrove is seen in the video performing CPR on the infant and was able to get the child to start breathing again before paramedics arrived. At a news conference, Sergeant Musgrove downplayed his efforts. Anybody that has received the same training we've received would do the same thing, he said. No streaking or smearing, this $13 tool makes cleaning your windshield a breeze and it's over 40% off. Yahoo! The Astro AI windshield cleaner is currently on sale on Amazon for $13. The 21-inch long cleaner comes with spare cleaning pads and a bottle of cleaning spray. It is one of the most reviewed and highest rated options on the market. The cleaner is designed to reach into every nook and cranny of a windshield, making it easy to clean even hard-to-reach areas. The microfiber pads are washable and leave no streaks or lint, resulting in a crystal-clear windshield. The Astro AI windshield cleaner is not only suitable for car windshields but can also be used on side windows and hard-to-reach windows in the home. The cleaner also features a safety hammer that can be used to break a window in an emergency. Reviewers have praised the cleaner for its effectiveness and ease of use. The sale price represents a good deal, although the price has been known to drop further in the past. Five Argentines, one Mexican died in a highway accident near a beach resort on Mexico's Caribbean coast. Associated Press. Five Argentines and one Mexican were killed in a car crash on a highway in Quintana Roo, Mexico. The accident occurred between the resorts of Tulum and Porta Aventuras. Prosecutors blamed weather conditions for the crash, which occurred during local rainfall. President Andrés Manuel López Obrador expressed condolences to the families of the victims. The accident involved an SUV carrying the Argentines and a van occupied by only the Mexican driver. Fatal accidents involving tourists along the Caribbean coast are rare, with most accidents occurring on boats or in the water. Greater Cleveland Auto Show opens Friday with hundreds of vehicles on display. Yahoo! The Greater Cleveland Auto Show opens on February 23 and runs through March 3 and is expected to attract a large number of visitors following a positive year for car sales in northern Ohio. The Greater Cleveland Automobile Dealers Association reported that new car sales in the region increased by 6.91% compared to the previous year, 
while January 2019 saw a 13.7% increase in new vehicle sales compared to January 2018. Driver in Milwaukee crash that killed five people gets 25 years in prison. The Toronto Star. Antiona Sandifer, 21, has been sentenced to 25 years in prison for driving under the influence of alcohol and crashing into another vehicle, killing five of her passengers. Sandifer's blood alcohol level was more than twice the legal limit at the time of the crash. Hello, viewers. I'm Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Six Degrees world. Let's dive into today's news. In Birmingham, a man was arrested after stealing a car at knife point. Fortunately, no one was injured in the subsequent crash. Meanwhile, Chinese automaker BYD is challenging mainstream petrol cars by launching a new, cheaper version of its plug-in hybrid model. They hope to encourage more people to switch to electric vehicles. On the other hand, Chinese EV maker Human Horizons has halted production for six months due to financial difficulties caused by the cutthroat market. It remains to be seen how this will impact their future plans. In Florida, a heroic deputy saved a three-month-old's life after a car crash. His quick actions were caught on body camera footage, reminding us of the everyday heroes among us. In lighter news, there's a handy tool on sale that makes cleaning windshields a breeze. The Astro AI windshield cleaner has received rave reviews for its effectiveness and ease of use. And in Mexico, a tragic car crash claimed the lives of five Argentines and one Mexican. Our condolences go out to their families. On a brighter note, the Greater Cleveland Auto Show is set to open soon, showcasing hundreds of vehicles. This comes after a positive year for car sales in northern Ohio. And finally, justice has been served as a driver in Milwaukee, who caused a fatal crash while under the influence, has been sentenced to 25 years in prison. That's all for today's news summary. Now, let's hear your thoughts. What do you make of these stories? Do you have any questions or opinions? I'm all ears. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.